Bali is one of the most evocative places to visit in the entire Indonesian archipelago. A visit here sparks the senses. The intoxicating fragrance of incense and clove oil hangs in the thick tropical air. Peanuts sizzle at roadside stalls, pedal-strewn offerings smolder on busy sidewalks, and traditional gamelan music jangles against the buzz of mopeds. Despite the clamor and chaos of the main tourist areas, the island is rich in natural beauty, with attractions for every kind of traveler. Surfers come for the legendary swells, hikers can trek up jungly volcanic peaks to misty waterfalls, and cyclists can bike through lush landscapes bristling with rice terraces and dotted with traditional villages. Find the best things to do and some of the island's hidden gems with our list of the top 10 attractions and places to visit in Bali. 10. Besaki Temple, Pura Besaki. More than a thousand years old, Pura Besaki is known as the mother temple for a reason. It's the holiest Hindu temple complex in Bali and the biggest. Set in a spectacular location on the southern slopes of Mount Agung, at an altitude of 1,000 meters, Pura Besaki is actually a series of many different temples, which serve as the spiritual center for the Balinese people. Pura Panataran Agung is the largest. Lush rice paddies and forests ring this temple complex, and many important festivals take place here. You might be lucky enough to see one during your visit. Plan to spend about three hours touring the temples. It's also a good idea to wear comfortable walking shoes. You'll need to walk a fair distance and climb many stairs. 9. Nusa Dua Beach Want an escape from Bali's urban buzz? Nusa Dua Beach is your answer. Here, you can recline on a comfortable sun lounger, cool drink in hand, and listen to the gentle slosh of surf on silky, white sands. You won't get that cultural hit you'll find elsewhere in Bali. This is a gated resort area on its own private peninsula after all. But if it's peace and relatively pristine sands you see, you'll find it here, at one of Bali's best beaches. Some of Bali's best luxury beach resorts preside over this sweeping stretch of shore, and resort staff work hard to keep the sand clean and clear of trash. Popular things to do at Nusa Dua include strolling for miles along the shore, swimming, surfing, parasailing, and sunbathing. But you might need to pay a fee or eat at one of the resorts to use their sun loungers. Still, if you're after a top Bali beach experience, Nua Dua ticks the box. 8. Kuta Beach Yes, it's crowded and persistent hawkers stalk the beach, but this famous stretch of sand, along with neighboring Legion and Seminyak beaches just to the north, is one of the most happening places to visit in Bali. You'll have a fun day out here, especially if you're a beginner surfer or you just want to soak up the scene. You can book surf lessons and rent surfboards, boogie boards, sun loungers, and umbrellas directly from vendors set up on the sand, and plenty of cafes and restaurants border the beach. Beach vendors are easily dissuaded with a polite no thank you, but an icy cold coconut sloshing with juice served directly to your sun lounger can be a blessing on a sultry day. Kuta Beach is one of the best places for young travelers who are looking for a livelier vibe than the sleepy beach resorts offer. 7. Pura Yulen Danube Breton. The 17th century Pura Yulen Danube Breton is one of Bali's most picturesque temple complexes. It sits on a small island along the western shore of Lake Breton in the cool highlands of central Bali. Set against the imposing backdrop of Gunung Breton, the thatched temples reflect on the lake, and when the water levels rise, they seem to float on its surface. Lake Breton is one of Bali's main sources of irrigation and drinking water and the temple complex is dedicated to Dewi Danu, goddess of the sea and lakes. An unusual feature is the Buddhist stupa on the left of the entrance to the first courtyard, with figures of Buddha meditating in the lotus position in niches on the square base. 6. Tegalalang and Jatalua Rice Terraces in Bali Want to visit the beautiful emerald-hued rice fields that you see on all the Bali tourist brochures and Instagram posts? The Tagalalang or Jatalua rice terraces should be at the top of your sightseeing list, especially if you're a photographer. About a 30-minute drive north of Ubud, Tagalalang rice terraces are one of the most famous areas to photograph these iconic landscapes and absorb their timeless beauty. Be aware that locals ask for donations along the most popular trail through the rice fields here, and many request fees for entrance and parking along the road. 
A relaxing way to enjoy the lush landscapes is at one of the many restaurants and cafes overlooking the fields. 5. Lubud Art and Culture Made famous by the book and movie Eat, Pray, Love, Ubud is also the epicenter of Balinese art and culture. This is where the modern Balinese art movement was born, with the surrounding royal palaces and temples acting as the main patrons. Today, several excellent local museums and galleries celebrate its evolution and traditions. Art gazing is particularly rewarding here, as many collections are housed in traditional Balinese buildings surrounded by serene tropical gardens. 4. Ubud Monkey Forest Visiting the Monkey Forest, also known as the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary, is one of the top things to do in Ubud, Bali. It's also one of the best places to visit in Bali if you're an animal lover or photographer. You can walk here in about 10 minutes from the town center in Ubud. Besides the entertaining troops of gray long-tailed macaques that make their home here, a large part of the appeal is the evocative jungle setting where the monkeys roam free. Paved pathways lead through thick forests of giant banyan and nutmeg trees, where moss-covered statues and ancient temples loom through the dense foliage, imparting an almost mystical feel. 3. Uluwatu Temple Uluwatu Temple, Pura Luhur Uluwatu, is one of the Bali's most famous temples, thanks to its magnificent clifftop setting. It presides over plunging sea cliffs above one of Bali's best surf spots. A scenic pathway snakes from the entrance to the temple, with breathtaking viewpoints along the way. Only Hindu worshippers are allowed to enter the temple, but the beautiful setting and the sunset kekak dance performances that take place here daily are more than worth the visit. The temple lies about 25 kilometers from Kuta. 2. Mount Batcher Every day in Bali's pre-dawn darkness, hundreds of visitors begin the trek up the 1,700-meter summit of Mount Batcher. Once at the top, they watch the sun rise above the lush mosaic of mist-shrouded mountains and the caldera far below. If you're looking for romantic things to do in Bali for couples, this should be top on your list. This sacred active volcano lies in Kintamani district in Bali's central highlands, about an hour's drive from Ubud. The hike, along well-marked trails, is relatively easy and usually takes about two to three hours. Guided treks typically include a picnic breakfast with eggs cooked by the steam from the active volcano. On a clear day, the views are spectacular, stretching all the way across the Batur caldera, the surrounding mountain range, and beautiful Lake Batur, the island's main source of irrigation water. 1. Pura Tana Lot About 20 kilometers northwest of Kuta, Pura Tana Lot, Pura means temple in Balinese, is one of Bali's most iconic temples. Its spectacular seaside setting, on a rocky islet surrounded by crashing waves, is a major wow factor. For the Balinese people, it is one of the most sacred of all the island's sea temples. Every evening, throngs of tourists from Kuta, Legion, and Sanur find their way through a labyrinth of lanes lined by souvenir sellers to watch the sun setting behind the temple. Pura Tana Lot was built at the beginning of the 16th century and is thought to be inspired by the priest Nirartha, who asked local fishermen to build a temple here after spending the night on the rock outcrop. Although foreigners can't enter any of the temples in the complex, you can walk across to the main temple at low tide. It's also fun to wander along the paths, taking photos and soaking up the magnificent setting. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos.